Cowboy Nation. This is the Cody Show Sports. Coming back at you with another video. And man, oh man, I got a treat for you today. <laughs> As you can already see, you know who I'm talking about. Mm, mm, mm. Talking about my quarterback. Dak Prescott. That's right. I'm talking about Dak Prescott. Which he cannot be. Dak Prescott, that name is always talked about, put in the press, put in the, in the media. That's every day. The most hated one in the league. Now, I just want to quieten some of these haters, which they already quiet, because <laughs> Dak Prescott didn't put on a performance of coaching that they wasn't ready to see. <laughs> but, man, it's just crazy to me how people just keep on talking about Dak Prescott. He's not a good, well, they call him good, but they ain't going to say he's elite. They won't put him in the category that he's a league quarterback, that he is one of the best quarterbacks in this league. Okay, which is the NFL. But he is. And if you want to keep throwing that shade and that noise and all that stuff about Dak Prescott, good. Keep it cooking. Keep on putting it. Put it on him. Because I know without a shadow of a doubt, I believe in Dak Prescott, that he will come out shining. <laughs> but it seems like the more you step on him, the more you try to put him down, the more he ends up on a high note, high plateau. And I made a video a while back and said that it's, you can't do nothing but make him, you can't stop him. All you doing is making him more known. The more you talk about Dak Prescott, that's all you're doing. This man, when you look at Dak Prescott life, man, in true totality and reality, you will find out that Dak Prescott is a great inspiration to the nation. Dak Prescott life, man, and, 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 and looking at this guy here, man, he's mentally tough. That's why I know you cannot break him when it comes down to words and things that you saying about him that he ain't this and he ain't that that's matter of fact that's a stepping stone for him to show you that he can and and i'm here just to kill the noise from from right now because i already know that it's trying to brew itself up about that the cowboys then got Trey Lance and 
That's putting pressure on Dak. Well, I got a question. Uh, how? Okay. He couldn't even beat Sam Darnold out for the job in 49ers land. He couldn't do it. So how in the world are you going to think that he's came to the Cowboys to be the the man? No, 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 no. Oh, no, get it straight. Get it straight. Just kill. Just kill. You see this? Kill the noise. Just kill it. Just just kill it right there. Right, right, right there. Just kill it. Kill all that. <laughs> just kill the noise because Dak Prescott is. I'm going to say it for you. Regardless if you don't want to say it. Let me. Hold up. He is elite. He is one of the baddest. The coldest. Quarterbacks. In this league. Dak Prescott is cold. man. <laughs> he is cold. Tell me what quarterback. And all these quarterbacks, see, Dak Prescott stands out by himself. He's a unique type of guy. And it takes something to be a quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. See, y'all don't get it. Y'all got to understand something here. You can't put this guy in the same category with these other quarterbacks. I don't care if they want a Super Bowl. That's right. A Super Bowl. Because they not dealing with a Jerry Jones. They not dealing with, like Stephen A. say, the nauseated fans. They not dealing with all these things. And for you to be a Dallas Cowboy, and not just a Dallas Cowboy, a Dallas Cowboy quarterback. It's not easy. But when you look at Dak Prescott, man, he just smooth. He's cold. He know how to deal with the media. He know how to talk to everybody. He just keeps everything copa steady. He just don't have no problems or no conflictual any kind with anyone with whatever they say and how they say it. He just handles it, handles it with coolness and y'all want to talk about pressure I ain't never seen nobody that handles things with grace like Dak Prescott you know like I was saying his life man the things that he have done with your leg twisted all the way around out of socket you mean to tell me that you can handle that <laughs> I don't think so I don't think you can handle the things that this man have had to handle, okay? When it comes down to his mother and and his brothers and look at all of the things that he have had to deal with and still functioning and moving forward. That takes a lot. He's an inspiration. If somebody takes the time to look at his life, you will know that you can make it, that you can take it, that you can shake it. Because Dak Prescott has proved it, that it's nothing that you could possibly go through that you cannot move forward in your life from. This guy here has shown perseverance, adversity, at best. There's nothing that Dak Prescott can't do. <laughs> this guy here standing on the sideline coaching. And y'all want to talk about that he's not a legit leader? Y'all want to talk that junk about that he can't read plays? Man, get out of here with that. 
<laughs> kill that noise. Just kill that foolery. Kill that mess. Because Dak Prince got proved. He literally coached. I'm going to help y'all out. Y'all remember? Y'all y'all seen the game last night that Dak Prince got coached in the preseason? He coached that game. And he coached and called the plays for the quarterback. And y'all know who that quarterback is, huh? Y'all know the one that was that's exiting the building that Dak Prescott has a heart for. And that's another thing about Dak Prescott. He got a great heart. Okay? But Will Greer, Dak Prescott, coached that game, and Will Greer balled over 300 yards passing. And you mean to tell me <laughs> that y'all still trying to put Dak Prescott down, but he's steady being put in a high ceiling of excellence. His story not going to be the story that y'all want it to be. I hear it all the time. Dak Prescott, he ain't uh, 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 the other quarterbacks. They get in the league. They at least got to the NFC Championship once. And Dak Prescott ain't even won one or got to it yet. So, tell me what quarterback have got the, 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 the man of the year award out of those group that you talking about. Where they at? They got that yet? No, they haven't. So some things that Dak Prescott achieved that some of them ain't even achieved either. Okay. So get it straight. Let his story play out in the way that it's supposed to be played out in. Because his story is not going to be the way you want his story to be. It's going to be Dak's story. This is a Dak Prescott story. <laughs> this is not your story. At all. And I can put names to it, but for what? I want to touch everyone, every hater that's trying to put their emphasis on Dak Prescott when it's Dak Prescott's story. It don't have nothing to do with you, and you can't make it be anything else. Because whatever's gonna happen, gonna happen, regardless if you want it to or not. That gonna do what he gotta do regardless and you can't stop it. So you might as well leave it alone. Okay? Really? I'm trying to help somebody out. Okay? I'm trying to help some folk out before they continue on with all this hoopla about Dak Prescott and then he end up getting everything that they say that he haven't gotten yet. Oh, Dak Prescott, he haven't gotten the MVP. Okay, just pop, just slow down, chill. It's possible. Okay, but even with that, it, it might not be this year. We don't know. Maybe next year. The, we don't know if he gonna win it at all. But even with that, somebody gonna win it from the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> you know why I say that? Because I'm still trying to figure out. And this is a big question. And I know I'm talking about Dak on here. But this is a big, big question that I got to ask you all. That especially the haters. Where these other quarterbacks that's going to play my team. Our team. All the ones that's with me. And that's with the Dallas Cowboys. I'm, that's what I'm expressing for. Cowboy Nation. The ones who really for. And, and this is what I say about that. You, If you really for Jerry Jones, quit dividing the situation. If you really for Mike McCarthy and you really for Dak Prescott. Now, if you are really for everything that's going on with the Dallas Cowboys, because like it or not, if you divide it up, it don't matter if they win a championship, it's still going to be for every one of those people that you're trying to divide. So you, you wasting time. So really, when you, you might as well care and love about everything that's going on with the Dallas Cowboys, and that's it. 
Let it be. Let it be. But I'm still trying to figure out, and this this question that I'm trying to figure out so deeply, where in the world is they going to throw the ball to? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Now, that, that, don't get it twisted. Now, I know, you know, that, you know, football season is finna start. The the, 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 the the regular season is finna start within two weeks or so. And we're going to see what's really going on. Now, it's possibility they might get a few passes off. But I'm still having a hard time trying to figure out where in the world they going to throw the ball. I'm, I, just, I just keep, you know, and I'm going to do my research on that. So, you know, don't worry about it. But you can answer it down below. Leave your comments down below. Leave your comments about Dak Prescott. I know there's still some haters out there. Still got something to say. But man, oh man, I tell you, my phone has been sure enough quiet. Whew. Man, normally, my phone is going off because some somebody has something to say about the Cowboys and Dak Prescott. I mean, literally. They always got something to say. We lost two preseason games, man. I got a phone call for each one of them. You believe that? I got a phone call literally telling me that the Cowboys ain't shit. I mean, they, they are trash. That's what they said. And you know what? I, all I can do is laugh because it's funny. We trash when we playing our, you know, rookies. Really? And look at here. After two games, and then the third game came, then you see our rookie stand up, man. Played balling, just balling, just played lights out. And you don't get no calls. I mean, nothing. You know, but see, if I was the wrong type of dude, I'd be calling them up and saying, you know, what's up, man? What's going on? What? I ain't getting no text. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Get no tech, you know what I'm saying? But even with that, you know, hey, I ain't like that, you know, because I'm steady waiting on the season to start. Kill that noise. That's that. You need to kill it. Kill it. Just kill it right there. Just kill the noise. Okay. It's nothing else need to be said. And you going down the list really when you take when you look at all that. Kill the noise on Dak Prescott. Kill the noise on my quarterback. Because it's nothing else really needed need to be said. What can you say about him? Okay. What more can you say? He's an exceptional leader. He's an exceptional leader. You know. How can you, you not be an exceptional leader when you sit up there and you coach a quarterback and Will Grid as leaving the team? Trying to make another team with the performance that he put on. And now he's handling a young stud that's coming into the team with grace. See, nothing. You can't break Dak Prescott. You can't shake Dak Prescott. You can't do him no harm. It's nothing you can do to him. He's one of the baddest, the coolest quarterbacks in the league. He handled handled things with 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 like I say. He's just cool about it. He don't he don't let nothing rattle, shake, and roll him to the point where he he act any kind of way. You know, I like how Dak Prescott operates. I like the way he do things. How he handles situations. How he go on about his business and don't worry about what all these people saying but I feel like when he do worry about it he lets it be known in within himself that when I get on that field I'm going to show him. that press guy going to show you exactly how he feels about everything that y'all been talking to him about especially Shady McCoy he just one of the no, the one of the knownest ones that just gotta say something bad about that. As long as we got Dak Prescott, we uh we that's that's the problem. We ain't gonna win a championship, man. Without Dak Prescott, how we gonna win a championship? Now, 
and hard it is to get a dog on me quarterback. Okay? And everybody can't be plugged into every system. You looking at Lance that was in in the 49ers system and he had all that talent around him and couldn't work it. And y'all stayed talking that noise about how you can plug this quarterback over here and over there. And I bet if he had the talent that the Cowboys had, it would he would have we would have went to the Super Bowl. Kill that noise, please. Just kill it. Cause it's full of crap. Okay? Just leave your comments down below about Dak Prescott and how you feel about Dak Prescott. Answer these questions. All these questions that I'm asking you now, I still need to know where the ball will be thrown. You saying you don't? You, if I want to know if you think that my de the defensive backfield and the defense is legit, or y'all think that oh we just looking good on paper and everything going, you know, we just looking good on paper. They gonna throw against that and they gonna they. I heard somebody say when we play the Giants, it's gonna be a tough game. <laughs> well, I mean, hey. I hope so, but I'm still trying to figure out. With this being the first game, I'm still trying to, and we, you know, we really own the NFC East, but, and, and, and I'm still trying to figure out where Daniel Jones going to throw the ball, please. Tell me, please, somebody, you know, let me know in the comments of where Daniel Jones, but this guy right here, man, Dak Prescott, man, that's the man, okay? That's the man, and he had a plan. For this season. He's the reason. <laughs> Y'all trying to exclude him. But you cannot do it. Okay. You cannot do it. I'm hyped up about this season. And everything that's going on with Dak Prescott. Until it's crazy. It's unbelievable really. You know. It's just crazy to me how people could sit up here and be hating on him and be the to the point where he have to put on the most hated they gotta make most hated shirts because he's so hated you know it's just crazy to be but you got to understand that this is not no ordinary quarterback He's on a different type of team. Ain't no franchise team is like the Dallas Cowboys. You can't just play for this team. It takes a mentally tough individual to deal with everything that's a Dallas Cowboy on the Cody Show Sports. Hit that like button. Hit the like button, please. I mean, when you get on there and you watch a video, just hit that thumbs up. Thumbs up, just hit, just hit it. Do me a favor. I'm not asking for nothing, no money, no nothing. I'm asking for you to hit the like button. Just hit the like button. Just hit it. I need more likes. Okay. I know Dak Prescott is not your. The, what, what you like, but hit hit the do it for me. Hit the like button, okay? Just hit the like button. I need your participation for the nation. All right. I had to get all this out because I'm feeling mighty mighty good about what the Dallas Cowboys gonna do this year. But most of all, just most of all, I feel good about. My quarterback. My quarterback. And if you are a fan like me, your quarterback, Dak attack, Dak Prescott. Because he going to attack. Dak is coming. He finna attack regardless if you want him to or not. And I hear him clearly saying, oh, man, he threw 15 interceptions last year. Why you just can't let that go? Why is it bothering you so much? It's my team. 
this you know it seemed like everybody know about my team how the Cowboys are and how much people like to see us and watch us and want some people just want to admit it that they undercover fans okay Stephen A undercover fan I, I'm sorry to to you know let you know that okay it, it, it is what it is so just leave your comments down below I done been on here long enough. Y'all done held me hostage. All right. This is the coldest show. Sports. And remember. Be cowboyed up and pray down. Because you never know what the day is going to bring. <laughs> and I heard somebody else say that. Tell your loved ones that you love them. Why you have a chance? Because you just don't know. You just don't know. You don't know. If they gonna leave here or when if you gonna leave here. So why you have a chance? Tell your loved one that you love them. And you heard it here. And I have to tell you, like I always tell you, be careful out there. Whew. Man, there's so much going on out there. I know y'all don't care. Some people don't care. But there's so much going on out there. But you got to make sure you, you, you got to be careful. Because you could be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Be at the wrong people at the wrong time. Okay? So, with that being said, this is the Cody Show Sports of America. And I'm out. Salute. Peace.